Tonight, as you grow older, it's important to listen carefully to the tune of your body, especially your heart. The heart helps pump blood into the blood vessels by repeated and rhythmic contractions, and when a beat is off, it can cause a lot of pain. Here's how one of Community Regional Medical Center's cardiologists, Surinder Sandu, helped a valley couple get down to the heart of the matter and back into the rhythm of life. Long day. Over the past few years, Jim and Claylene Talley have had their share of heart problems, causing disharmony in their lifestyles. After walking up a flight of stairs at work, Jim felt out of breath. I began to become concerned about it because I needed to use the elevator literally just to go up a single story of stairs. We built this ourselves. Jim had a stent put in the left coronary artery and three years later recognized he was having the same symptoms again. Well, I suspected that it would, might be something to do with my heart, but I had no real, you know, confirmation of that. I just figured it was something that would pass. Their daughter, Tammy, a non-invasive cardiotechnician, works in the cardiology department at Community Regional Medical Center and recommended the help of Dr. Surinder Sandhu. Uh, Jim had uh, complaints of chest discomfort uh, off and on, so uh, we ended up doing an ang angiogram on him, found uh, a few blockages. And this is all the fat that deposits underneath. The blockage is more like a, like a narrowing in, a, in, a, in, in an artery. You can put that coil right where the blockage is and then open up the balloon or inflate the balloon and uh, that opens up that coil too. And then you take the balloon down, take it out and then that coil stays right in that place where the blockage is and like more like a scaffolding in a tunnel so that things don't fall back. That re-opens that channel which was blocked. At Community Regional, Dr. Sandhu placed a stent in another artery of Jim's. I was able to go back to work in a very short period of time because it was so non-invasive uh, that it was amazing. What disharmony is. Are you ready? A year later, Claylene, Jim's wife, visited the dentist and had a strange reaction to the anesthetic she was given. I started feeling a bad feeling in my heart and it felt like an apple, the size of an apple, that was just burning. James, Sally, how are you? With the success of Jim's heart stent procedure, Claylene knew exactly who to see for her medical care. Dr. Sandhu scheduled an angiogram and, and uh, didn't even realize it would be as bad as it was, but when he was in, that's when he realized I needed to have the stent. And I got to watch him work, and that was really enjoyable to me. Uh, he's so intent on what he's uh, accomplishing. This is a normal opening of the coronary and yours was blocked almost to that extent. Dr. Sandhu said Claylene's rushed feelings in her chest were not classic symptoms. You know, workup led to an angiogram and we found that she had a blockage in the right coronary that goes under the under, on the under surface of the heart and uh, received a stent uh, in August of 08 and has not had those uh, rush symptoms since. Like Jim, Claylene also had her stent put in at Community Regional. She had one day of recovery uh, up on the fifth floor, and that's a beautiful room, beautiful view. <laughs> While Jim and Claylene have been changing their lifestyle habits, Dr. Sandhu is offering others his best advice to stay healthy. Change their diet habits, of course, uh, less fat, you know, uh, less of caffeine, uh, stop smoking, um, exercise, lose weight, um, and keep their cholesterol in check, make sure that they follow with their physician and that their, the bad cholesterol is targeted to less than 70. Since both procedures, the tallies have noticed a significant difference in their health. Oh, I just uh, am so grateful for him. Uh, he cares about your life. And he's, I mean, Jim has his stint and I have his stint too. <laughs> We're stent twins. Jim and Claylene are thankful for their health and tell others to watch for the signs. If you have any feeling in your heart at all or shortness of air supply for me or weariness like Jim was experiencing, get to the doctor. Don't play around. It's your life. Life and death is involved here. With uh, our relationship with each other and our relationship to the Lord, it's been a very wonderful time together, hard knocks and all. Jim and Colleen, we're glad you're back in harmony and hope you continue to make beautiful music together for many years to come.